So I've got quite a few horses to follow that we bought from Tassels. Uh, first of all is a mare called Mountain Molly. And we bought her, well, we were drawn to her. We, we knew she was running in an Irish point to point because she's a half sister to the legislator, who's a horse we've got huge hopes for. He's actually just injured himself, so he won't run again this season. But um, he's a horse that we absolutely love. We think he could be a proper staying chaser. So when Mountain Molly came through the ring, we were delighted. And, and again, I think we, we bought her quite well. She's worked really well at home. She'll run in a bumper soon. Um, and I really like her. I mean, I, I know we're probably buying more mares now, aren't we? Yes, they have a residual value. So, um, you know, something like Apple Away, having one listed race, she's worth, you know, good bit of money as a stud mare. And another one we've got there is Lady in the Park. Um, we've sort of taken her along the same lines as Apple. You know, sometimes I think you know, with the mares, as I say, you have a, a residual value for them, the four geldings, they have to find a home when they're retired and you know, Cork Ramble live in a castle at the bottom of my garden, but the rest have. <laughs> and actually talking about Cork, we bought one the other day and he reminds me so much of Cork. <laughs> Slightly with his well, You didn't buy him because you got a white nose, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought him for all technical reasons, but he's called St. Olin's Well. And, uh, but he has the same temperament as well. He's got the same sort of slightly, uh, he's just a bit different. Um, maybe it's horses that have white bits on their nose, I don't know, but he's got a lot of ability and he's working really nicely at home. We're, we're very pleased with him. We, we can't always buy the hugely expensive horses, but there's fun to be had, which I think the whole sport is about, with horses at, at reasonable prices. Something like Apple Away, she was 30, 40 grand, wasn't she? You know, I, I know she's not going to win the Supreme Novices hurdle, but you have a chance, once you get up into the staying leagues, Scottish Nationals, Midlands Nationals, even the Grand Nationals, you have a chance and it's a handicap. And then you might be able to bought the third or fourth, it's cheaper and then you've got a chance. So that's the fun that Tattersalls gives you. you know? So one of the horses that we bought from Tattersalls Cheltenham uh, is Giovinco. And he's by Walk in the Park. He's just a fabulous horse. He's a bit edgy, but I think a lot of the Walk in the Parks are. But he cruised through his novice herd all year. He was unbeaten, uh, including a listed race at Perth at the end of the season. And then this year we've got novice chasing and absolutely delighted with him. He's going to go to Cheltenham. Still not quite sure which race he's going to go in, but probably leaning towards the three miles, but we'll see. And he's also in a handicap. But he's perfect. I mean, the owners haven't even had him for two years yet. And uh, already he's looking at a festival. And already he's, he's an exciting horse. He's not just an old sore ran. He's, he's a horse that's won plenty and uh, deserves his place there. We've actually, we've been really lucky with the, um, as you say, the sort of mid-range horses. We've been very lucky with the mares. We've got a lovely mare called El Elefante, very classy, uh, has come from a good producer. She she was pretty much unbeaten over hurdles. She's found it a little bit tougher this year, but only because we've stepped her up in in quality of races. Um, but she's still got black type, um, and she'll make a lovely chaser. Um, but she was, she was pretty reasonable. She was around the sort of 40 mark. Um, and then we've got a, got some other ones to really look forward to, haven't we? Yeah, so we've just bought. It, it's funny going to the sales. I feel we, you have to go regularly, sort of get your eye in, you get to know the producers. Somebody like Colin Bow would be one of the best producers in the, in the British Isle. And his gallop is fantastic. We bought a lovely horse from last year, yeah. in Ox Allen. Yeah. He was only 40,000. Yeah. He was third in a listed race in a grade one the other day at, at Haydock. So, you know, it is, as you say, it's building the relationship, knowing the ones that you can trust and, and yeah. trusting what they say. And, yeah. um, there is value there. When you go into the sales, you're buying, the, buying a dream. We bought the Corrigan Rock for a club. It was Tassel's Island Newmarket sales. He's by a sire I like, Westerner. He, he'd won a restricted value point to point. I couldn't have cost too much of the sale. And um, he's just tough, he's honest. He's actually really good over a shorter distance, over two, two and a half. He was a syndicate that has given people magnificent fun, and this is a bigger syndicate. This is a smart club in London. The people have had so much fun. If you want money, uh, don't buy a National Hunt horse. If you want fun, there's tremendous fun. And Corrigan Rock, is, it, it makes me so proud that something like him at reasonable value has given such pleasure to 
so many people. I wish I could have given so much pleasure to so many people. But you do, darling. Oh, that's...